Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty Tampa Property Management and this is another in our helpful blog series for landlords and this one is called the top five questions to ask potential tenants and what not to ask. The first question to ask potential tenants is what is your credit score? You know, the credit score gives you an indication of the potential tenant's attitude towards paying their bills, so it is important. We recommend that as part of your background screening, you do pull a credit report on a potential tenant. Now, some tenants may not know their credit score, and you can direct them. These days, you can direct them to free sites, like often banks will give people their credit scores, and there are sites like Credit Karma, where they can go to free to check their credit score. You certainly don't want to waste their time if their credit score isn't high enough for you to rent to them. The second question you want to ask potential tenants is, how much income do you have from reliable sources? Now, this doesn't just have to be employment income. It could be child support, it could be SSI, it could be housing assistance. The source of income just has to be reliable. You want to know that they have enough income to be able to afford the rent. The third question to ask potential tenants is, have you ever been evicted? And if you have, when was it? Now, it isn't a good sign if a potential tenant forced another landlord to evict them. But if it was far enough in the past and they've had good rental history since then, you may choose that it's not relevant and proceed with renting to them. The fourth question to ask is, do they have any recent felony convictions? Now, specifically, what you'll be looking for are things like the manufacture and distribution of drugs, violent crime, and property damage. If the felonies were far enough in the past, again, you may choose they're not relevant and proceed with renting to them. The fifth question to ask is, are you who you say you are? Now, you're not going to exactly ask the question in that form, but it's very important to know the answer to that question. So you want to see government-issued ID and then be able to cross-reference that, their name and their address and the issue number against their credit report and see that they match. And you'll also want to cross-reference the, the name on the government-issued ID with their social security number and name and see if those cross-reference. Identity theft is a growing problem these days. So what questions shouldn't you ask? Well, one question that you shouldn't ask is, how many children do you have? You know, that, that sounds like an innocent enough question, but early in the process, it could lead someone to believe that you may be discriminating against families. Now, the right time to ask that question is on the rental application. So if you see one of the children on there that's over the age of 18, you can have them make a separate application and put them on the lease as a named tenant. And any children under the age of 18, you can add them to the lease then as authorized occupants. Another question not to ask is anything related to the seven protected classes in the Federal Fair Housing Act. That is race, religion, color, country of origin, sex, disability, and familial status. Asking those questions is just not relevant to the process of renting to someone, and asking them could lead someone to believe that you're discriminating. So these are the top five questions to ask potential tenants. If you have questions about our blog today, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be happy to talk to you.